Hello, in this video uh, we study properties of logarithms. These properties give uh, logarithmic functions uh, a wide range of applications and uh, they are very helpful in solving uh, the logarithmic equations. Uh, since logarithms are exponents, the law of exponents give a rise uh, uh, to the law of uh, logarithms. So let's see what is this law of logarithms. So, uh, we let A be a positive number, which is basically the base of the logarithmic function, and A is different than 1, and we let some expressions such that A, B, and C uh, be any real numbers as long as a uh, and b are greater than zero they must be greater than zero because the domain of logarithmic functions uh, uh, is from uh, zero not including zero to infinity so let's see what is this law we have the first law or the property which is log base a of a times b and a can be some expression be another expression as long as they are greater than zero is equal to log base a of a plus a log base a of b so basically when you have a multiplication it gets transferred to an addition and then we expand this log one log base a to two of them and the second law will be when you have a divided by b a over b so it's log base a of a minus log base a of b and again division is a subtraction becomes subtraction okay and the third law dealing with exponent is log base a of a to the power of c is the same as you bring this c basically up front is c log base a of a and uh, so let's see an example of expanding logarithmic expressions so we use use the laws of logarithmic expand uh, uh, to expand each expression so here log base 5 of 13 x is the same as log base 5 of 13 because it's times here it's going to be plus log base 5 of x and here i have this multiplication that i'm going to deal with first so i have log base 3 x square plus log base 3 y to the third plus log base 3 z to the ninth which is equal to again i'm going to use the third law which is a two become exponent become multiply the factor log two times log base three x plus three log base three y plus nine log base three z and the third example i choose here i have ln which is a natural log x to the third times uh, square root of y everything over z square and so i look at it and i see i have a multiplication here then i have a division so for the multiplication i'm going to use the first law which says the logarithm of product of numbers is the sum of the logarithm of numbers so ln x to the third become a sum ln square root of y and then i use the uh, the third the second law which says that the logarithm of a quotient of a number is the difference of the logarithm of the number so the difference so minus ln z square and remember that uh, square root is the same let me rewrite the whole thing but with all with x Exponents. Remember that the square root is exponent is one half, and cube root is one third, fourth root is one fourth, and so on. 
So I'm writing it this way, so I could use easily the third law and say 3 ln x plus 1 half ln y minus 2 ln z. And this is how we expand the logarithm, logarithmic expression. Let's see an example where we have to go back and combine logarithmic expressions. And again, this is very useful when we solve in uh, logarithmic equations. So in this example, we need to combine them. So I have one third ln x squared minus one minus ln y minus four ln z. So uh, let me rewrite it. This is the same as, so the first thing I will take care of is the exponent. So let me bring this one third has to go here and just number four goes here. So I'll take care of that. So I will have ln x squared minus one to the power of one third minus ln y minus ln and z to the fourth. Now I'm going to use the second law because I have this subtraction here. It tells me that is ln x squared minus 1 to 1 third divided by, so y with the negative become a denominator, times z over 4. Again, negative here goes down to the denominator. And this is the same as the cube root of x squared minus 1 all over y times z to the fourth. So this is how we uh, use, uh, ex we expand and combine logarithmic expression. I hope this is helpful. Thank you.